This video will explain why and how to power flush a central heating system. So, why power flush? Best practice and Part L legislation recommends the importance of water treatment to maintain system efficiency and prevent boiler breakdown. All new systems should be pre-commissioned cleaned to remove flux and installation debris. And existing systems should be cleaned to remove accumulated sludge and limescale. Independent testing has verified that by cleaning, flushing and treating a system using Furnox Cleaner F3 and Protector F1, gas savings of up to 15% every time you heat up a room can be achieved. Continual advances in technology have increased heating system efficiency. However, with these innovations, the drive towards smaller boilers with miniaturised waterways means they are more susceptible to corrosion and scale damage. As a result, radiator cold spots, boiler noise and the need to frequently vent radiators are all too often symptomatic problems of untreated, dirty systems. The Furnox PowerFlow machine makes short work of cleaning systems and can also act as a descaling pump for heat exchangers. The PowerFlow is manufactured from high-quality polypropylene with a fully moulded 50-litre tank. This CE-marked lightweight unit is corrosion resistant and powered by an 1100 watt or 1.5 horsepower pump giving high rates of flow at safe pressure. A 110 volt version of the machine is also available. A circulation rate of up to 99 litres per minute ensures that all debris is thoroughly dispersed so that even small bore and microbore systems are flushed effectively. The higher the flow rate and velocity the faster the removal of sludge. A proportional full bore dump rate of up to 60 litres per minute enables the water in a typical 10 radiator or 100 litre system to be changed in less than two minutes, significantly reducing time on site. The power flow is rated to 85 degrees Celsius operating temperature, which when used with a Furnox cleaner, even baked on corrosion and limescale can be removed faster than with any other machine. Its reversible flow action helps to prevent debris impacting against valves and accelerates cleaning. An integral double check valve on mains fill makes connection to the water supply easier and ensures the connection complies with the water regulations by eliminating the risk of backflow. Finally, the Furnox PowerFlow comes with all hoses pre-assembled and ready for use, and a two-year return to base warranty. To speed up the flushing process even further, the use of a power flushing filter is recommended. Dependent on the severity of the corrosion and scale deposition, neutral universal cleaners such as Furnox Cleaner F3 or Cleaner F5 will remove loose sludge and scale without compromising the integrity of the system. These products are suited to both the pre-commissioned cleaning of new systems and the cleaning of existing systems. For best results, cleaners should be added to the system up to one week prior to the flush. For heavily fouled systems, use a powerful cleaner such as Furnox Power Flushing Cleaner F5 or for scaled systems, DS40 System Cleaner. Regarding the actual flushing process, Firstly, ensure that the system is correctly set up to use the power flow unit. Turn off all electrical controls and electrically isolate the system. Ensure that all radiator wheel head and lock shield valves are fully open. Remember to make a note of their position. Check that all thermostatic radiator valves or TRV heads are either set to maximum or removed, and that all zone valves and three port valves are locked open. Any anti-gravity valves should be bridged, bypassed or temporarily removed. Thermal store cylinders must also be isolated. Underfloor, solar and CHP systems can also be flushed using the power flow. Now decide on the best position to locate and connect the Furnox power flow to the system. This will vary depending on the individual system 
and availability of suitable connecting points. Please use an RCD when connecting the pump to the electrical socket. The power flow should be located within easy reach of a suitable foul drain or waste pipe near to a convenient mains water supply. The drain, discharge and mains fill hoses are 8 metres long to facilitate the positioning of the unit. The drain and discharge hoses should be arranged to ensure there is a continuous fall along their length. It's also possible to connect to the system via the following. Firstly, across the pump connections after removal of the domestic pump, using the adapters provided. Secondly, across the flow and return pipes at the boiler, which is particularly useful when replacing a boiler. Attach temporary earth bonds where required. Thirdly, across a radiator. This option should only be used if no alternative connection point is available. The fastest alternatives are to use the Fernox Power Flow Pump Head Adapter, which allows direct connection onto the pump housing. Or, via a TF1 filter, using the specially designed TF1 flushing adapter. Connect the mains water supply, overflow and dump discharge pipes, ensuring that all isolating valves are closed. To increase the effectiveness and speed of the power flush, a Fernox power flushing filter can be used to remove contaminants without interrupting the power flushing process. The power flushing filter also offers a visual demonstration of debris removal to reinforce the benefits of power flushing for your customer. The use of a power flushing filter also saves on the amount of water used to flush, making the process even more environmentally friendly. Connect the power flushing filter to the flow valve using the female camlock connectors. Attach the hose to the other end of the power flushing filter using the male camlock connectors. The system setup is now complete. Dynamic balance flushing is the ideal way of sludge removal and maintains maximum flow through one specific part of the system or a single radiator whilst bleeding off water and making up at the same rate. This is the most effective method for removing sludge and debris as it maintains a high circulation velocity to keep sludge in suspension. It's particularly effective on drop feed radiators and micro bore systems. So, how does the process work? Firstly, carry out an initial purge with the power flow unit to remove the system water, refill with fresh water and begin dynamic balance flushing. Shut off all except one of the radiators on the system. With the system filled and the power flow unit running, circulate and reverse the flow direction every one to two minutes. Slightly open both the dump valve and the mains inlet valve. The dump must be discharged to foul drain. Gradually open the dump valve further, balancing the increasing flow from the mains inlet. Aim for the maximum discharge rate that can be made up by the mains water supply available. Continue to circulate with the power flow throughout this process. The fill and dump rate may need to be rebalanced when the flow is reversed due to differences in system resistance in each direction of flow. For all systems, isolate and clean the upstairs radiators first as downstairs radiators tend to be more affected by sludge and scale. Monitor the discharge at the drain using the Fernox TDS meter and continue flushing until the water runs clean and the reading is within plus or minus 10% of the mains water. Differences above 10% means that significant dissolved solids have been left in the system. Only when the discharge is clean, turn off the isolated radiator and repeat the process for all radiators. At each stage, check using the TDS meter that the water is completely clean. Finally, after disconnecting the power flow unit and recommissioning the system, dose with Fernox Protector F1 or Antifreeze Protector Alfi 11 to ensure long-term protection against corrosion and limescale, which will maintain system efficiency. Using Fernox Protector F1 Express, the system can also be dosed via a radiator or injected into the filling loop 
or via a Fernox TF1 filter. For ongoing maintenance and servicing, the Express range of products are ideal to use. Dosing only takes 30 seconds, so there's no need to drain down the system. Protector concentration levels should be checked using the Fernox Protector Test Kit. Please ensure the water sample is taken only after the protector is fully circulated. Avoid taking samples from areas of static water in dead leg pipework. Then reset the controls and test run the system. The system is now thoroughly cleaned and flushed in accordance with all best practice legislation and you can be confident you have completed a professional job. Annual testing of protector levels is recommended to ensure the system continues to work at optimum efficiency. This completes the Fernox guide to power flushing. The Fernox power flow has been designed to provide years of trouble-free use. If you should have any questions about using the Fernox power flow or queries on topics discussed in this video, please visit fernox.com.